I'm going to start with the black at the top. So this is just black pigment paste. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to push the dark bits down further. Dark blue. Spreading. I'm just going to help it with It's got my gold pigment. I'm just going to put a little bit. Yeah. What happens is it sort of goes molten. It looks it sits on the top.
Mm, that looks great. So I've, I used art resin, so it moves a lot. So you know, it looks great now. Who knows what's going to happen to it? It's like a tornado. So, sort of. What do they call them? Water sprouts. It's like a water sprout, isn't it? Up, up, up. I definitely do something with these ones. I'm really, really happy with them. A little experiment I did, which it, it turned out very interesting. And I like this sort of effect here. Now, I'm going to work on this slowly. I'm not, I'm not, um, I don't want to wreck this. So I'm going to put, I'm going to get some of the clear resin I'll put it over here Just a bit here So can you see it sort of, it's just, I just sprayed it out a bit more so it's just more tree-like, like the branches are, are reaching up. So this is my she, she-scape. And here this is that root, swirling root that's coming down. So I'm going to play, play with those with some handwork, but that's, that's all I'm going to do with the resin. And then I'll do some handwork and maybe a clear, a complete clear layer. Not sure yet, but I really like that. So this is my little um, she landscape, and I've I've waited for that little bit of resin work that I did. It's cured, and I sanded the edges. So here I just sanded off the sharp edges after I took off the tape. To sand it down with electric sander, and and now I want to work on the top of this. So I've I've used some alcohol, and I've rubbed it, and got rid of any any greasy surface. And the next thing to do is to sand it with a small piece of sandpaper. So wherever I'm going to do any handwork with acrylic paint, I will sand it because I'm actually going to put a layer of clear resin over the top of this. So wherever I think I'm going to do some handwork, I'll just sand it.
I mean, I could sand over the whole thing if I wanted to, because I'm going to cover the whole thing with resin. If you only wanted to put some pools of resin over the top, you just do it where you want, where you want to put the, rest the handwork. I don't want to interfere with that. See, that's scratching the. Because that gold is virtually just sitting on top. So I'm not going to touch that. And I'm going to do a bit of work down here. I might actually spray it as well with some UV archival just in, just in case because this is getting a bit scratchy there and I'm a bit worried about that coming off so I might actually um, spray it with this as well and that will help to to give a tooth to the surface of the tile but then I'll have to wait for that to dry so I'll, I'll just I will take it outside and spray it and when that's dry I'll come back and do some hand work. Okay. That's pretty much finished. I'm going to do a bit of a cement textured edge on the board I'm mounting it on. And I'll show you that. I'm going to um, actually cover this in resin, clear coat of resin. I don't think I'm going to do any more on that at all. It's quite, I'm quite Please, it's quite different. So that's my she scape. She in escape. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm just doing my final layer of resin. I'm just using an art resin. Now I've mixed up a reasonable amount. It's probably took too much. But i you know I've got to fill up the depth more. So I build a wall with tape. Very bubbly, I think. It sort of, it sort of um, changes it when you put clear resin over the top because you're losing that, lose that depth. But it's actually knocked it back a bit, which um, it needed. It was just too. It was too. It was too sort of relief, and it was distracting from from the actual overall picture. So that's it's flattened it out, which is better. So I'm just going to leave that for about an hour and then I'll come back, I'll check on it every now and then and make sure there's no bubbles and then I'll pull this off and just let it flow down the sides. So I'll leave that for a while. So I've finished my she landscape, the resin and the handwork and it's all sealed on the sides. 
Now this is the backing board for this piece, this piece of artwork, and I wanted to do a sort of a textured um, kind of a frame, I guess. And I, I didn't want to use cement this time. I wanted to use uh, gesso, and I wanted to make it quite thick. So I bought some. It was very cheap. Some marble dust. So I'm just going to do a little bit of an experiment. Um, it's, going to, it's going to be quite dark because I think that um, it needs a, a dark contrast. There will be a white. There will be a white gap. So it will be the, the, um, the tile, then the white, and then then this edge. So this is some. This is just uh, gesso. I'm just going to use a um, painting towel to do it. I don't know how much I'm going to really need. Bit, I can always put this into another container that I use it all. So I'm going to mix some of this marble dust with it. I might need more than that. So I want it to be quite gritty. It sort of looks like like a sand, white sand. It'll give it like a, a texture. It's kind of nice. I need to take the tape off before it gets very dry. Get a bit of an edge. Just going to let that dry and see how textured it is when it's dried and then I'll I'll do some spray I'll spray with the um, granite spray um, I might sand it a little bit first before I do the granite spray I might end up doing two coats but that is so I'm going to put that in there And that's going to be a dark, a dark tone, that, that framing edge. But I, I will flatten it probably a bit. But it will just give a really nice surround. Just add a, a, some contrast to the work, and give it a bit, a bit more depth. That's the texture. Right, I masked off where I did the gesso and marble, marble dust. Um, I just masked off that area, and I have now. I've sprayed, sprayed that. I, actually, first I did. Uh, I sanded it a little bit flatter, the texture and mask it all off and then I've sprayed it with this this is a granite effect, I've used this before and I've done a, about three three coats or so and I'm going to let that dry and then I'll put a clear coat 
uh, actually a gloss, a clear gloss over the top of that just to just to make sure that it, nothing comes off. And then I will stick my she landscape artwork in the middle and there'll be a white gap between it, between this the edge of this and the, the actual artwork. Okay, I just took the mask that I had on there, I just pulled that off and I think that looks quite good. Now I've just measured so that I know where I'm going to put the tile. And I'll just turn it over. And as you can see I sanded any lumps off because it needs to be it needs to be very flat. So that the contact is really good. And I've just got some liquid nails. Which I'm going to put all over that. Sand it a bit more so that there's a bit more area for this to contact. Yeah, I'm just going to line this up. Right, it's finished now. My she landscape with her strong granite like fr like frame. So that turned out quite well. It looks definitely looks like rock rock and surrounding the landscape. Trees reaching up. It's very fluid. Kind of almost like it's very feminine. So it's got a real fluid feminine feel about it. It's a she landscape. Good. Well, I hope you like it.